Hi everyone, today we'll be doing our step-by-step -step facial for the Hydrate and Rejuvenate Facial Kit. So these are all the products that you're gonna be using in your facial today. You're gonna to wanna to get a bowl with some water, a microfiber towel, and then also set the mood. So like here, I have um, essential oils diffusing in my diffuser. I have a plant growing next to me. Plants are amazing to help you boost your energy and emotional support for your facial. So let's get started with the step-by-step -step facial for today. We'll be doing hydrate and rejuvenate. This is the perfect facial to have um, in your arsenal when your skin is dehydrated or just lacks liveliness. So this will help to boost the hydration levels and have a nice natural glow. Let's get to it. First things first, we're gonna be doing the compress solution into your water bowl. This is crucial for softening the skin and doing your compresses before you do the actual facial steps. So what you'll do is you'll open this, take about half of the compress solution and put it in your water. Mix it until it is all dissolved. Wish you could smell this. Well, you will smell this once you have it um, in your facial. And then you'll want to submerge your towel. This should be the first step you do before you start your facial since the towel wants to absorb all of that compress solution before putting it on your face. Okay, let's start with the cleanse. So take out your melt away oil cleanser. For the purpose of the whole video, I'll be using my own products so they'll look like the retail products that we have, um, but you'll be using your facial kit products. Okay, so let's start with the cleanse. Take about three or four pumps and rub it in your hand. It'll foam up a little bit and you'll start cleansing your skin. You'll see that this cleanser changes from a cream foamy consistency to an oil very quickly. And this is the main part of the cleanse, which is the oil cleanse. Oil cleansing is very, very soothing for dehydrated skin, which is why we're using this cleanser over the other ones. Make sure you're cleansing every part of your skin, including behind the ears and your neck. Okay. Now that we've had our face cleansed, you can do this for longer. I mean, this could be a part of your ritual to start with, you know, a facial massage where they get into the jaw. We tend to have congestion in our jaw and T-zone area. So really get in there, cleanse as long as you like. So we're gonna take a cloth to remove the cleanser. You can't remove clean uh, an oil cleanser with just water. You're gonna have lots of buildup in your skin if you do it this way. So make sure you get a cloth and wipe everything off. We recommend microfiber towels because they're very soft and they don't hold on to any bacteria and it can be used as a double cleanse. So once you wiped off your whole cleanser here, you can flip it and use this as your second cleanse. Our next step is the compresses. So you'll wanna get a fresh towel, and this is where you're going to really get the skin going and prepped for your facial. So really wring it out. You wanna make sure your water is pretty warm because this is in step of um, getting your skin prepped from, for the facial. So you wanna make sure you cover your whole entire face. And press gently but firmly 
I know that's kind of an oxymoron, but you don't wanna suffocate yourself, but you want to make sure that you're pressing firmly enough to really get the skin prepped for your facial. At Radiance Wellness Spa, we use the same technique of compresses instead of steam. Steam could be very actually harmful for our skin because that extreme heat can really dehydrate and cause more inflammation. What happens with steam, it creates this hot shower effect. I'm trying to do it a different way so I can, I can talk to you because I don't want to be muffled. Um, so it creates this hot shower effect where when the steam is on, our face is nice and open and receiving of nutrients. However, as soon as that steam is shut off, we create this hot shower effect where our skin becomes more sensitive and more dried out. Because these compresses have magnesium and organic sulfur, it keeps the skin nice and fresh and soft throughout the whole entire facial. You wanna repeat this process about five to seven times. And if you wanna include your neck and chest, please do so. All right, I'm going to finish off the rest of the compresses off camera. I want to share a few techniques about the compresses with two size towels. So if you have our smaller towel, the 12 by 12, once you submerge it into the water and take it out, you'll only have access to the whole towel on your face as such. So you'll want to press on your forehead, press on your jawline, your nose, massage your nose, and then if you can, get your neck in as well. So that's with the smaller towel. If you have our larger 12 by 20, 15 by 27 towel, which is this bigger towel, you can do it a little bit easier. You'll wrap the towel around your chin and you'll flip the towels and you'll have access to breathe. <laughs> so in this same way, you'll firm the forehead, the jawline, Massage your nose and you have your neck there as well. And if you're including your chest area, I don't have my shirt off for this, re for this purpose, but you'll put it on your chest and you can fold it into your um, shoulders and really get yourself a massage there and on your chest as well. It's really, really relaxing. So those are the steps of how to do the compresses with your towels at home. Next step is the enzyme refresher. This will serve as your exfoliation. So you wanna make sure that you're exfoliating on a regular basis. Our skin tends to build up um, dead skin cells and depending on the Weather that we're having, we could also experience dryness that way. So to get hydrated, nourished, glowing skin, you wanna make sure you exfoliate all of that off. And get it all in there. and let this sit on your skin. The enzymes will tingle, that's okay. If it becomes like a burning sensation, then you may want to remove it quicker or altogether. Um, but if it's just a slight tingle, that is totally normal. That is your skin being exfoliated through a chemical process, which means the enzymes are eating away at the impurities and the dead skin and to reveal your fresh glowing skin underneath. Okay, once the mask is a little bit tacky, you'll start wanting to roll it all off. This action of pulling and rolling the skin increases more in circulation and it also helps to pull out any extra impurities out of the skin. Now you can remove with a towel with 
the rest and we'll be on our next step. Okay, our next step is the Vita C Ashwagandha Mask, and this is an amazing mask for all skin types. It really helps to oxygenate the skin. Vitamin C helps to have a natural glow to the skin. It has lots of antioxidants to help protect from free radicals, and it has ashwagandha extract. Ashwagandha extract is amazing for adaptogenic properties to the skin. So what that means is that if your skin is stressed or if it has some dullness to it, it really helps to liven up the skin. If your skin's more inflamed and it has more redness to it, it, helped, it will help to calm all of that inflammation down. So apply this mask all over the skin. It's like a gummy consistency. So it's a little tacky, but that's okay. Now this is the perfect time to use an LED device if you have one of those, because this is a translucent mask. The LED will help to penetrate through the mask, which means it will push in the ingredients of the mask deeper into the skin, which will result in faster acting benefits. Okay, so let's leave this on for about up to 30 minutes, really. You can have it on as uh, little as you want or as long as you want. If you're gonna have it on a lower uh, minute, you want to really massage the skin constantly to make sure that the stimulation and the ingredients are going into the skin. If you wanna just relax, lay down, do a meditation, or like I said, the LED therapy, have it up, up until 30 minutes and enjoy. We'll see you back for the final products. Okay, now it's time to remove the mask. I did the LED therapy, so I'm a little like, hmm, zoned out, <laughs> zened out. So start massaging your skin, and you'll see that the mask will unroll on itself. All the goodies are inside of your skin already. This is just excess material that no longer needs to be on your face. It's no longer serving any purpose. I'm going to remove this off camera and we'll be back for our finishing products. Now it's time to take your soothing hydration and you can apply this toner two ways. One, you can just spray it on your skin or two, you can spray it into the palm of your hand and tap it in. This will give an extra boost of hydration with the chamomile, cucumber, and peppermint hydrazoles. And it'll get you prepped for your serum and oil application. Okay, so the last step is your stem cell renewal serum and your specialty blend oil. So let's first start with the stem cell renewal serum. Massage it into your skin. Stem cells are amazing for our skin. In the stem cell renewal, you will have apple stem cells and saffron stem cells. Stem cells are not programmed to be anything until they reach the surface of the skin and they will help with all different kinds of things. Any breakouts you're experiencing, any inflammation, scarring, things like that. They also help with anti-aging properties. And because the serum is based on hyaluronic acid, it's amazing at hydrating your skin. So once that is absorbed into your skin, you're going to take your specialty blend oil. And if you're going to be doing a massage, which I highly recommend doing, take a little bit extra and put it on your neck, shoulders, and chest. Oh, this smells heavenly. Neroli essential oil is what gives that fresh aroma to this specialty blend oil. We have a whole video about Neroli essential oil benefits on our YouTube channel. You can take a look at that. And this is where now we're gonna start the facial massage. We have a step-by-step -step, um, video on our YouTube channel for a facial massage, but I'll just go through the key points here. You wanna make sure you're opening up your lymph nodes down here, 
lightly massaging, little pulsating action, both in upwards and downwards. You wanna drain your lymph nodes. Get into the back. All of us are always hunched up and stressed out, so you wanna relieve that muscle tension there. Get into your jawline. A lot of us clench, clench our jaws, so really get into the jaw muscles here. Always include your ears, they feel so good. And behind the ear. And the smile lines. Drain out the cheekbones. Do some sinus pressure release around the eyebrows and underneath the eye. And of course our forehead. Okay, so that was your Hydrate and Rejuvenate Facial. Hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial. Looking forward to seeing you do all of your facials. Welcome to tag us in your posts on social media. Reach out if you have any questions and hope you are blissed out just like I am right now and ready to take on the day or just go take a nap. <laughs> have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.